What's up guys? I'm Holden from Tire South here with another episode of TSTV, where we take you through everything you need to know about tires and wheels. Today, we're talking about wheel spacers. I wanna make a joke here, but I won't. Uh, I'll just give you some space. <laughs> so what are wheel spacers? Well, they're installed between the hub and the wheel to prevent rubbing by pushing the wheel away from the suspension components. They also provide a wider track, which can help performance and give your vehicle a more aggressive look. There are a few reasons you may want to use wheel spacers. The first is to get better vehicle stability, which you'll notice most during cornering and turning. Because they help move the tires farther apart, they help distribute the weight equally on all four wheels. It's this improved weight distribution that helps enhance the car's handling. The second reason to use wheel spacers is to correct improper wheel offset. Sometimes new wheels can interfere with steering or suspension components on a vehicle, and a wheel spacer can remedy that. This can also be an issue when you pair a factory wheel with a modified suspension. For example, on a lifted truck, the new steering and suspension components are built for a wheel with a different offset and backspacing, but the factory wheel might require some extra space to keep them from touching. Now that we know what spacers are, let's look at a few different types of spacers. First, slide-on spacers. These small plate spacers typically come in quarter-inch increments and slide over the vehicle's hub between the newly installed wheels. They can be tricky to install as they are not hub-centric and can cause vibration issues. These are typically used in situations where there's contact with a suspension or braking component, mainly calipers or the caliper bracket itself. Second, bolt-on spacers. A bolt-on spacer is used when the fitment requires more significant movement of the wheel out from the hub. These actually slide over and are bolted to the factory studs, which allows the wheel to install to new extended studs in the spacer. This extends the mounting surface the full width of the spacer for installation of the wheel. This provides the clearance you need around the fender well or other components so the tire and wheel assembly is clear from obstruction. Finally, hub-centric spacers. If you do need to run a spacer, this is the option we'd recommend. The spacers are built to spec for your vehicle and wheel combination to provide proper fitment, which means that the wheel is truly central to the hub so you get no movement and no vibration through the wheel and tire assembly. A hub-centric wheel spacer also puts far less stress on your bolts or studs and is less prone to failure. So there you have it, everything you need to know about wheel spacers. But in case you have any questions, contact us online or at any of our Tire South locations. We'd love to answer your questions and help you customize your ride to do your thing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on TS TV.